I've been a head chef now here at Cameron House for five years. The food style I would say is European, classic, with a few lot modern techniques, but we try and stick to a, a strong classic influence. Flavours are quite classic, sometimes with an added ingredient to make it a little bit different. In the past five years, the food styles simplified, trying to keep it as classic as possible without being too set in stone to what we do. So, as I say, making it a little bit modern, use a modern technique and focus on the prime ingredient. Uh, on the day-to-day -day run of the business, I run all the business side of things. I come up with the menu ideas, the dishes, and Martin will come over, we'll go through the dishes, we'll discuss the menu ideas, and we'll collaborate together to produce each menu or each dish that we create. I think Scottish produce stands out with regards to quality and consistency. We can always get a, a good product from the West Coast or Orkney, whether it's shellfish, meats like our lamb, and the consistency is always there and the products are great. So today we're doing a Scottish lamb dish. I love working with Scottish lamb because one, you have the traceability, and two, the quality to me is second to none. You get the nice herbal notes coming through, and the harsh environment, I think, gives the lamb a great flavour and a great texture. The traceability is a high priority, knowing where your meat comes from, knowing that it is Scotch, and that, again, should ensure our quality is consistent. Uh, over the course of the year, we might use leg of Scotch lamb and also the rump of Scotch lamb. Both are great cuts, ideal for du jour menus at the weekend, and great when they're cooked properly. Uh, right now, we're using saddle which is the short saddle, including the belly. Yeah, I think it's important for our customers to see Scotch lamb and Scotch beef on the menu, especially for customers coming from outside of the UK. Overseas, they like to see that on the menu. Britons are in for having that level of meat, and especially the Scotch lamb and beef. When they see that, they think it's going to be a seal of approval. Um, we tend to train our staff from the, the very basics, so a chef will start on the larger section. We'll give them six weeks on each section, moving around the kitchen, and try and cover all aspects, whether it's butchery, sauce making, and eventually go on to pastry. So everyone in the kitchen right now has a, a strong repertoire of each section. Helps with their development, and it's managed to keep our staff retained here all for around one year, two year mark. I think it's essential that we keep good members of staff and try and nurture them and make them develop as better chefs and also for a business perspective it's going to help the business move forward here. So within the next five years I hope to take the business to another level and eventually after that have my own business.